With the Biotra 58mm f1.5, my optic Görlitz has redefined a classic from the 30s, the Biotra 58mm f2. The first Biotra was already known for its bubbly and unusual bokeh and was produced by Carl Zeiss in Jena. The look of this lens might remind you of the Helios 44-2 58mm, which is actually a Soviet copy by the original Biotra. In World War II, the Carl Zeiss factory in Jena got destroyed, Soviets took the materials and the plans of the Biotar, making the Helios one of the most common lenses in the Soviet Union by producing millions of copies. These got shipped as standard kit lenses with many cameras like the Zenit. For full disclosure, Maya Optic Görlitz sent me the lens to test it out and to keep it, but it's not a paid sponsoring and there are no requirements attached. Reviving an original classic, Maya Optic Görlitz took it further and developed a Biotar 2.0. It comes in this really noble wooden box branded with the Maya Optic Görlitz logo. The new Biotar is an even faster lens now with a maximum aperture of f1.5 and provides sharpness and contrast levels which could not be achieved by the predecessor. Biotar has an exceptional build quality with a strong aluminium housing and 14 aperture blades opening clickless for that flawless bokeh. Focus and aperture rings are super smooth to handle. Uncommon here is that the aperture ring is in front of the focus ring. The lens is pretty compact and with around 400 grams medium heavy. The Maya Optic Görlitz logo as well as your unique lens number and the made in Germany branding are engraved to emphasize love to detail and build quality. Thanks to the new updated f1.5, your subject gets great background separation. The swelly bokeh paints the background around your model. The separation almost feels like a 3D effect, dreamy and surreal. The bokeh can be really versatile though and its character depends on the fore or background complexity. Giving the lens a fore or background which is minimalistic and less harshly structured, you get a really soft and creamy feel. So you decide how to separate your subject from the rest. You also have really intense orange flares you can trigger by pointing the lens towards direct sunlight. If not desired, you can just add the included lens hood and get a clearer image. 0.7 meter minimum focus distance is not the closest compared to other lenses, but if you really want to get closer, you can use cheap diopters I'm always using on my anamorphic lenses. Before testing this lens out, I was not really a big fan of lenses having a bigger focal range than 35mm. Too much of the environment getting cut out. While moving, there are more visible shakes and I feel less flexible. But with this look the Biota gives you, I'm more than happy to sacrifice these benefits. You can create extraordinary, dreamy scenery, which is something you cannot create with wider lenses. Even if there are faster lenses out there, the characteristics and versatility of this bokeh is so special, which makes it the king of bokeh for me. With the Biota, Maya Optic Görlitz really re-engineered a masterpiece made in Germany. All the shots you saw in this video are shot with my own diffusion filter Marble Glow, globbing highlights and just a touch of overall image softening. Get yours now and level up your filmic look. Also don't forget to check out my clothing brand Visual Minds, oversized fair made clothing in Europe, two shirts, two hoodies. That's it with this video, see you in the next one. Peace.